the Chicago area, there are dozens of hockey camps for kids to choose from, but there is one in particular that caught our eye, a camp designed to improve their faith on and off the ice. It's called Spirit Hockey Camp, and it's positively Chicago. Play it out, play it! At Spirit Hockey Camp in Darien this week, 110 kids, young and older, use power and grit on the ice. Battle, boys, battle! Lord, hear our prayer. And the power of prayer both on and off it. And of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Its conception began 30 years ago with Chicago businessman David Gomez and then Chicago Blackhawk Bill Gardner. We talked about having a school for children, teaching them a little bit about hockey, about values, virtues, and uh, took off. There was plenty of dry times in Chicago for hockey, and there was a lot of kids that wanted to play the game. The camp lasted initially for six years, and then recently, Gomez's sons, Richard. Jesus Christ became a man to show us how to live. And Christopher told their dad they wanted to revive spirit hockey and got a huge assist from Springfield Bishop Tom Paprocki, the holy goalie, who served in multiple roles this week, off the ice and on it. Yeah, I imagine this is a pretty good time for you. Yeah, well, they really kind of put together the two most important things in my life, faith and sports. What do you think this week at Spirit Hockey Camp gives these kids? Well, this morning we talked about failure and fortitude. That's true on the ice and that's true in life. You've got to deal with failure and you've got to deal with and fortitude is one of the responses to that. For 11-year-old Warrenville goalie Benjamin Phelps, this is not your usual hockey camp. I feel like home. I feel like I'm just at normal church. His mother, Marcia, believes there is added meaning. Her husband, Benjamin's father, Chris, died last year. Hockey was their thing. Unfortunately, really sad, horrible things happen, but you can learn from them and grow and get strength. We're not really coming here to meet a big name player. We're coming here to meet the biggest name player, and that's Jesus. You know, I, I believe there's a God. So however you reach him, that's great with us, and you'll find him here somehow, some way. There is a fee for the weekly camp for those who can pay, but Gomez says this year they didn't turn anyone away who couldn't pay. The camp is over for the summer. It ended today. But for more information on the camp, go to our website, cbschicago.com. I have to give real kudos to the Gomez family. Yeah. They have six. Dave has six kids. They were all involved. And Bishop Paprocki, I've known him for years. We've been playing hockey since I was a weekend anchor at another station. And right. he was a priest in the Chicago Archdiocese. So it was great to see him again. And I know how much it meant to the Gomez's that he participated. I'm sure so many kids can't wait for the next camp coming up. Next I know summer. they hope so. All <laughs> Thanks, right. Thanks.